This was the glittering scene at Monte Carlo on the night before the civil wedding took place. The gaiety of illuminations was the feature of this, the climax of pre-wedding festivities. It was a brilliant occasion in a romantic setting, with the palace as the centerpiece. From its balcony, Prince Rainier and Miss Kelly watched the dancing, which included performances by French folk dancers and the London Festival Ballet. Monte Carlo also laid on a scintillating firework display. Next day, after the civil wedding, Prince Rainier and his bride gave a garden party for the people of Monaco, the Monegasques. Two little children offered Princess Grace a special greeting of their own. Everyone here in the grounds of the palace must have been captivated by Grace's charm and beauty. This was really the first time they'd been close to her since her arrival in Monaco. Now the great day itself, the joyous day of the religious wedding. It's half past ten and the morning sun shines brightly. The bride drives with her father through the streets on her way to the Cathedral of St. Nicholas. Solemnly, on her father's arm, she enters the cathedral. All eyes are on her, an entrancing picture in her magnificent gown, and she takes her place before the high altar. The bride is followed now by the bridegroom, Prince Rainier III of Monaco. He wears a special uniform of black and gold, glittering with the insignia of his many orders. Henri, Maxence, Bertrand, ici présent, selon le rite de notre mère, la Sainte Église. The wedding at which the Bishop of Monaco officiated is marked by the dignified solemnity befitting such a ceremony. Princess Grace's title, Serene Highness, was well borne out by her serenity throughout the long marriage service. Now, by civil authority and by the church, Prince Rainier and his film star bride have been pronounced man and wife. The wedding procession moves slowly from the cathedral. This, of course, was the moment for which the Monegasques outside had been waiting, and joyful cheering greeted Prince and Princess. There followed the drive through the streets towards the palace, with a heartfelt ovation all the way. Yes, indeed, it certainly was a great day in the long history of the Principality. A great day for the loyal people of Monaco. Our story ends with the scene at the harbour, as the princess, carrying her poodle Oliver, arrives with her husband to board their yacht, in which they were leaving for their honeymoon. And it goes without saying that as the royal couple left, all good wishes went with them for long life and happiness.